So, how to begin? The pandemic has framed on my maps, my doors, and even locked the true spirit inside me for so so long. I did something to get it unlocked, and this whole trip was such a powerful key to do that. Hello everyone, my name is Seng Tai. I am a student from the Department of Foreign Languages at Seng University. This is the first, very first field log of my first field trip and first time traveling afar since the pandemic exploded two years ago. As a music lover, I have put on my experience uh, with the songs that I felt appropriate. So without further ado, School you COVID and let's get right into the five day trip to Southwest of Vietnam. We began the journey by leaving our university and SCMC at 6 in the morning. Leaving our instructors, having specialist caps on, making our energy, and sightseeing all the scanneries along the way. And after hours on the course and getting food, we finally got to the first destination, which is Dashu Meluka Forest. This is the symbol of the natural beauty of Anzang, having diverse flora and fauna. Among 140 kinds of plants, most of them are Melaleuca. Living in tropical ecosystem are more than a hundred types of animals, reptiles and especially birds. Many of those are in the red book also. Okay, done with the basic facts. I was personally fascinated by the evergreen picture it brought for the very first class right by the time we took a step into it. Though it wasn't good weather due to the rain coming, I could still feel the atmosphere it was supposed to have. Fresh air, flowy wind, and strong sense of serenity that I never had for years. The entrance fare is just 100,000 Vietnam dollars for a person and optional fees for boat rides around the area are about 50,000 Vietnam dollars, which is really reasonable. In this whole environmentally reserved area, along with hospitable staff and pools, it serves better. After Jashu, we got on our bumps on a coach again, spending two more hours heading to Fowler Hotel in Hattin City. The sky brought closer to the day and the way people brought us, they know what we longed for after a wrong ride. And what must be, must be. It completely pulled on our expectations into the abyss. The second day, half and all. A plot twist, a sucker punch was that the weather in Kinyang was predicted to have rainstorms and we had to change the whole plane, turning five hours back to Gang Per. What? Nonetheless, didn't mean that we didn't have enough fun and make the right use of our time, like singing. Chanting. Also rapping <laughs> And this is a new places We decided to have new directions to alternative sites in Bac Liu The two guys and crews were really consensuous I really enjoyed visiting those places cause new things have been learned It hit me like a sucker punch
After back leave, we turned our wheels to the neighboring ruins, shop down to stop at this remarkable pagoda. Built in in 1785, following common traditional architectural practice, Somron Pagoda is one of the most beautiful and largest common pagodas in the region. This is also home to the largest giant reclining Buddha statue in Vietnam with a length of 63 meters and a weight of 490 tons. I was actually captivated by that. Dignified destination we came to visit is Hong King's Temple. Designed with the typical Dongsheng drums patterns and color scheme of red and yellow, this place serves as a spiritual memorial to the Vietnamese people's ancestors. We took a walk around four hectares area full of cultural tributes and attended incense offering ceremony before leaving. Pull up, black boy, hop out Shout out to my mother and my father Hold up, hold up I've never seen men like this <laughs> Apart from full size cancel before This is the real fine one and maybe the most favorite to me in this trip Punta City Sleeping real good at a landed hotel Make me listed as a destination included if possible Established in 1994, spotted in the prime location of the city, Nimiki Riverside is one of the most comfortable Panta hotels you will ever stay at. Everything was neat and clean and super professional. It's so good to me. Stay here and had three morning buffets in a row. Goodness, it. food were well cooked, immediately filled. So we have pepper pig. We are looking green if I eat this. Nose ground the About the city of it, Kang Tha is the largest city along the Mekong Delta region in Vietnam. Although being highly constructed just like our beloved HCMC, it still is still holds a high sense of attraction with a unique tourism from Ninky Way to Gai Rang Fulton Market. As a hotel is on the way to Nimki Walking Street, it was fun and I to discover anywhere the lights were on. Waking up at 4 a.m. to get ready to go to Fulton Market. Uh, called Kairang and now we are walking really fast to get to the boat take us to that market and here's my friend at 5 a.m. 5 in the morning I'm busy bowling I never stop it it's 5 in the morning Above all, on. in the last morning, we had a very good chance to visit the most famous highlight of the city, Gairang Fulton Market. This authentic style of trading is extraordinary when the originality is kept for decades. It's a wholesale market selling fruits, vegetables, and other agricultural products from Kanta City as well as from 13 neighboring provinces in the Mekong Delta region. The best way to discover this market is by boat or sampan. We got on one and it took us the minutes to get there from the center of the city. Under the cost was just for the boat, around 800,000 Vietnam each person is highly recommended to stop by for once if you intend to travel to the southwest. The market and Hong King's temple was also the last destinations in Kang Te that we visited. Finally, we backed it all up and returned to XCMC and had a trip come to the closer. And what's more, I've got pictures in my mind. On joyful moments I've ever been through, I've turned into a supper cut. The wheels might have come to stop, but visions linger forever in my head. 
about the places we've been to and moments we lived in our best versions. Bye.